To become extraordinary doesn't mean you do more. To become extraordinary means you do less. You do more of what you're best at and you do less of everything else. A large part of everything we talk about is this word called flow. So we talk about flow very much like the flow in a river, which is if you were to drop a leaf in a river, it will always, always get attracted to the area of greatest flow. In China, they call this flow the way or the Tao. The Tao is your way. It's, it's your path of least resistance. It's those moments in your life where you find all things get attracted to you. And there's nothing mystical about it. If you were to think, for example, about someone who gets into flow in a game of football, then it's not a surprise that everyone's kicking that person the ball because they just know that that person's going to be able to do the most with that ball. So let's talk about some people who might be the kind of entrepreneurs that we follow. People like Richard Branson, people like Bill Gates. Uh, they're, what, when they're focused at what they love to do, they are not feeling what they're doing is hard work or else they would stop doing it. They're not doing it for the money, they've got the money already, but they're still doing it. It's because there is a sense you get when you get into flow, which is that you truly become the best you can be. And for many of us, we have those experiences in life when we get into flow and get out of flow. Uh, a fundamental key is understanding that all excellence comes from understanding how to be able to step into flow no matter what the circumstances. And anyone who questions is that possible, all great sports people know how to do this. Um, all great wealth creators know how to do this. In fact, they will go out of their way to ensure that they do not do things that keep them out of flow, which means that success is not what you say yes to, it's what you say no to. It's saying, I will not do that, I will not do that because this thing's gonna take me out of flow. I'm gonna keep to the things that I know are the things that keep me into flow. And that is one of the most difficult disciplines and one of the biggest reasons that we have people who do not succeed in their business is because they actually try and do too much as opposed to cut it down and just do the thing that they're meant to do. This, I think, is the curse of all ordinary people, which means to become extraordinary doesn't mean you do more. To become extraordinary means you do less. You do more of what you're best at and you do less of everything else. Uh, we can all get on the football pitch and think we can play every position. We might be right, we can play every one, but the minute we try and play every one, no one else even wants to play with us. Right? The minute we start chasing the ball everywhere, we can't be everywhere in one place, and instead of just saying, you know what, I only have to be in one position. So for a lot of us, we think, but what if I don't do everything? What, what if I am great at meeting with people, and I love doing that, but I know I've got to do the back end as well. I've got to organize my accounts, I've got to do all that detail. But what if you didn't have to do any of that? You think, but I, I can't afford to have someone else do it. You don't need to afford to have someone else to do it. If you actually open up the space to do the things you love to do, you're gonna have double or triple the flow anyway, which is going to be able to afford the right people anyway. But by actually spending only a small amount of our time on what we actually do best, the rest of that time is spent on what we do worse, which means not only are we not in flow, but others also can see we're not in flow. And the biggest judge of all of that is money itself. Money will always flow to where there's greatest flow.